Yes! Accomplishment. We had a good day at Loveland today, and I figured I'd check in with you, let you know what kind of equipment I used, talk about systematic versus agile video creation, and then give you a little play-by-play -play if you're interested of uh, how my 12 runs went today. Uh, equipment. So, we're working with Facebook Live, and the mobile studio stick, and the Bluetooth headset. That system right there allows me to be hand-free. I don't have to touch the screen, I don't have to bring it with me, and the screen doesn't have to be shaky. That's big. Two, we're outdoors. It was cold as hell this morning, and in those conditions, you're not gonna use your finger on the screen. Second thing, third thing, mobile studio stick. This may be the most important thing that you don't have that you need right now. And right now it's hooked to the back of a, a car and I'm about to show you what we're talking about. There, see that? On the back of the Nissan, that's where I clipped it. Now, look at me, I'm in a sea of cars. I'm in the middle of the Loveland parking lot. And guess what? I'm about to take you with me. I'm gonna to try to hitchhike home to Denver. You ready for this? We're gonna see. Whoop. We're gonna see if we can get a ride for my sorry ass. Alright. You're coming with me. Alright. So next. Systematic versus agile video making. Mark Clement called me out. He said, hey, that's illegal, bro. You can't stand by the highway and uh, hitch a ride. Aren't you afraid the police are going to track you down? Arrest your ass for breaking the law? I didn't know the rules, Mark. That's the difference between systematic and agile problem solving or video making. And video making is problem solving. So, I, I kind of knew the rules. I moved forward cautiously. I had a plan. I didn't exactly know how it was going to end, but I kept going anyways. And I didn't stop. And I found a ride. Even when my fingers were about to have frostbite. And systematic problem solving would have said, oh, I got to you got to have everything mapped out before I do it. And if there's any unknowns, we have to make sure those are crossed off the list. These guys are honking at me. Oh, they're, they're in a, an automobile fight. Road Rangers! Okay, so the play-by-play, -play, you ready for that? Took it a little cautiously at first. Started getting the feel of it. Threw my 360, got back on my horse. Took down the left side of the mountain and just milked this honey pot, shredding the, the freshies on the left hand side. Then I was about to go for a kamikaze Chinese downhill. Just tear up the fairway like Happy Gilmore. And look what happened. The ski starts pulling on me, like pulling on my pant legs, and it, it, it broke. I was such an animal today. I broke my skis. Vocal? Hey, bud. If we go viral, you might want to hook me up. I mean, these are like 10 years old. I get it, but let's make videos together, baby. All right. Nobody stopped yet. Hey, I'm going to Denver! You might want to fast forward to the end of this video to see if I got a ride. Pick me up, I'm a good soul. I'll give you good company in the car. In fact, that's what we're gonna do at the end. Whoever picks me up is gonna learn how to generate an additional revenue stream, like a boss, as a side gig. So 
they can stop working for the man and start working for themselves. That's gonna be the reciprocity law at the end. <laughs> you ready for that? We're gonna get a, a live social proof evidence of reciprocity. Stop for me! Halfway down to the on-ramp. I think in the on-ramp is where I'm gonna find them. Oh, it was a good day. Whew. There's not really a shoulder here. You're gonna have to fast forward. Nobody can stop, even if they wanted to. Ooh, my legs are burning. I got cramps in my hammies. And my gluteus, my, my quads. Legs are burning, baby. My left arm's getting hard. I mean, well, tired. All right, I'm gonna go to the other shoulder. Maybe, maybe there's enough room over here. Whew. Now I'm going with traffic. Hey Mark, am I breaking the law? By the way, Colorado police, I promise to not break the law again. See, that's the other part of agile problem solving. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I didn't know that was a rule. I found out it's a rule and now I'm not gonna do it anymore. Right now. I don't think I'm on a highway. Therefore, I don't think I'm breaking the law, as according to Mark. And I'm gonna follow my plan. The plan I came up with, the plan that I know is gonna work. And I can't let too much critical feedback steer me off my main plan because, ooh, my legs, ooh, my legs are cramping, people. Sheesh, I need a stretch. I need a tie. Last, I need a couple's Thai therapy massage. Celeste at Symmetry 360 gives this amazing instruction on daily massage. It's a cultural tradition, thousands of years old, from the Taiwanese culture. And the man would go out into the rice fields, out into the fishing boats. He would work a hard, long day, 16 hours. Come home, so exhausted. The culture was, first thing, lay down dad. Mom gives him a Thai yoga therapy massage. Boom, dad feels great. He's in a better mood. He can be a better dad for the family. Then guess what happens? The kids give the mom a massage. It's reciprocity, in effect. The kids give each other massages. The kids learn the cultural practice. Okay, we're coming up on the on ramp. And we've lost that touch, that physical touch in our families. We don't pass around this amazingly powerful communication method, nonverbal communication, which could be even more powerful than verbal. Love Celeste. So 60. Right now, I wish I had one right up ahead. Right up. Gonna have to shake it out. Hey! I'm going to Denver! Stop for me! You know what I'm doing. I don't need a sign this time. I'm, I'm that way! Going that way. I guess I gotta do this, huh? That's what that means. Nonverbal language right there, baby.
It's getting narrow up ahead. Doesn't look very safe to walk. I'm more visible than anything else on the road, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna drive around me. Keep going. This, I gotta do this. Come on, baby. Pick me up. I'm going to take my hat off. Look, I'm not scary. I'm just flesh and bone. heavy. You know, I could probably just drop these things off because I'm not going to use them anymore. Oh, dropped my hat. They're driving around me, people. It's a miracle. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be this way. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. That's why so many dropped off. I was holding it the wrong way. Oh, jeez, I'm getting tired. Um, they must think I'm in sorry state here with these skis like this. Thumbs up! Thumbs up over here. Gotta hold it with this one. Shaky. Uh oh, I think I just saw the police coming. This might be the end of it. Nope, just a suburban! <laughs> Right. I think I think I'm ditching the skis, guys. I don't need them. They kind of identify me as a skier. What's under my boots? Second piece of glove on ski area. The lower piece. This is for the beginners. This is where the babies come. And things that are cute. Not me. Okay. I know that the responsible ski entrepreneurs this establishment will take good care of those. Recycle them responsibly. Some of you might disagree with what I just did. And, to be truthful, I do know the rules. But I don't think they're going to arrest me. Or find me. I mean, I'm a customer of theirs. They're supposed to take care of me. Obviously, I need help. It's a little 
moral compass moment back there for me. Okay, now we're on the road. We're gonna do this, make this happen. They charged me enough, $71, but they did have a flex pass, which meant when I busted my skis before 12.30, I could come in and get $15 off. So there, Loveland Ski Area, see, impressive process. You just got a little audience with my little followers, my raving fans. Makes it more intimidating to pick up a guy who's live streaming. I need to show my face. But do one of these. But there's a 20% higher chance that somebody stops if they see my face. us round numbers, my face should naturally connect with at least 10% of them. So, if I get to 100, maybe I disconnect with 1% of the people today. As long as I connect, that's all I'm worried about. I'm going to 100. I'm going to 300, to be honest. I gotta get home. With the Oscars. Oscar. Who's my date? You guys can go on mandates. Cool. How long have we been live streaming for? Too long. It only took 10 minutes last time. I would have thought going home would be easier. Alright, now there's a little open. So I think this is the right optimal place to stand for a safe pull-up. So here I am. Guy on the side of the road. Live streaming with itself. Get out of the way, bozo! I'm turning right there. Now this is uh, an interesting psychological thing that's going on here. I would consider this equal to, you know, trusting me with your baby. Marketing vehicle, Anthony. 
Here's the keys. I'm, will I'm willing to trust you with my DeLorean. I've been parked in the garage for many years and haven't been driving very good. And uh, I trust that when you drive it, you'll be responsible. That you'll uh, grease the wheels and keep it oiled and maintained properly. You won't uh, screw it up. sit on the side of the road panhandling and they say it's like very eye-opening for them. It gives you a good balance to know both sides of the spectrum. say gratitude is the highest vibrational state that you can be in. Create more magnetism. Gratitude. Than any other sense of it. I'm going to use my magnetic epicenter, my compass. Convince one of you that worthy of your time and investment. That's really what you're sacrificing. Don't be going that direction. Not even sick in his head, no. Maybe that means he wishes he could. You know, you might get some reciprocity out of this, I'm just saying. It could help you generate Effortless automated records. You never know that until you're looking at my face. Gotta go to Denver. for waving. We're up to about 90 cars now. Here we go. Cadillac. In, huh? Follow up on those networking business card referrals. So maybe I should chase those people. Oh, this guy stopped. Yay! Oh, it happened. I don't know. What's the time? Not like that today. Hi there. I'm Anthony. Hi Anthony, where are you headed? Denver. Alright, I can get you part of the way. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I'm just going down the hill to Tennessee, the mountain. Look out, mountain. What's your name? Joe. Joe, I'm Anthony. You bet. Thank you so much, man. You bet. 
Is that your glove? No, it's not. You're really observant, huh? I don't think anybody else has saw me. What do you do, Joe? Uh, I drive for uh, the airport show. Oh, cool. So you're going back to the airport? No, um, I was following a friend up to the tunnel to make sure his car made it. He said he was over here to climb the Floyd Hill. Yeah, oh, you're just doing good things all over the world. That's nice of you. Joe, tell me what you do when you're not driving people around and saving the world. Uh, fly rockets? Shut the front door, you fly rockets. On what I'm doing here. Have you heard of Facebook Live? Yep. Alright, so I've been on the the live stream for the last, uh, I'm guessing, 30 minutes. I'm trying to hitch a ride down here. And I'm doing a human experiment. All right? All right, so I hitched a ride up this morning. And I gave that guy 10 bucks. He's still... Rockets for people? It's a crazy hub. Nah, people gotta build their own if they want to surf. What if you charge them twenty thousand dollars to build their own big ass rocket? They'd be happy as a clam. Yeah, but then they don't get anything out of it. Yeah, they do. They get to pull the fuse. They get to have their hand on the nuke button. That's badass. Nah, it's a hobby, so it's it's more hands on for the people who want to play. 